Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, we just wanted to let you know that we're announcing our biggest news ever. Our first ever in-depth, comprehensive course for people who want to make money with wedding photography. If you're too excited to wait for us to tell you about it, you can jump ahead to this time code to find out all about it. Or just stick around until the end because this video slaps. No. So a lot of people want to know our process for shooting weddings and instead of being intrusive and filming behind the scenes of an actual wedding, we set up a styled elopement in the desert tomorrow. So we're heading out there now, we're going to do some location scouting to find some spots where we can shoot the couple. So we get to meet and we're taking you there with us. won't get a say in where the bride is getting her hair and makeup done, but do your best to tidy up the area, open any window blinds, and turn off tungsten lighting to get a room filled with the same color temperature. Always check with the hairstylist and makeup artist first to make sure they're cool with you adjusting the lighting. Here I want to get a few different angles for a variety of shots. I'm shooting with a 35mm and I'm just going to work around the room looking for interesting compositions and candid smiles. dress in this case. Um, it's something that every client kind of expects if there's a wedding gown involved. We try to find, again, like colors or textures that would match the feel of the shoot and, um, and a place that has a lot of natural light. So we brought it into the garage of this Airbnb and we've opened the garage door so all this natural light is coming in and we're going to shoot it in front of this textured, kind of rusty colored backdrop. Um, yeah, and to do that we have to kind of move over some stuff to make it work. To shoot the dress, I would normally shoot it with a 35 or 50. 50 is good for detail shots, um, but it lacks a little character for me. Um, 35 always feels like a little bit um, more like you're there. So I'm using the 35 to shoot this dress and get all the details in around it. Another tip that we always recommend photographers do is bring a nice wooden hanger along with them because a lot of times the dress just comes on a cheap plastic hanger and it always just feels kind of weird because you have a really nice wedding dress on like a two cent plastic hanger. So we usually keep wooden hangers in our car um, and then we can just kind of switch the dress out under our own hanger and it looks way better. For getting ready shots, we usually shoot with a wide focal length, like 24 millimeter or 35 millimeter. If you're in like a really tight spot, uh, 16 millimeter could really come in handy. When there's a wedding dress involved, we have the um, bride just uh, call on one of us when she's ready for us to come get photos of that. Um, if there's a groom involved, we usually do like the very finishing detail shots, so like cufflinks, tie, tie, tie. yeah, like a, a getting or uh, throwing on the jacket. Um, anything in the mirror, usually you can do some cool stuff with that. Once again, we recommend using window light if you can and turning off interior lights, and that way um, the lighting will just look the best. So typically only one photographer is needed for this, but since we're both in the neighborhood, we might as well. We usually have the groom put his suit jacket on over by a window, so we get big soft light pouring in onto the scene. Since we're in a smaller bedroom, I have a 35mm lens and Daniel has a 24mm for wide enough focal lengths to capture what we need. Go ahead and like, um, yeah, do that again with the, yep. So it is first look time. So what we're gonna do is position our groom um, right over here because we have this nice mountain backdrop and Daniel's gonna shoot um, towards him so he'll get his first look reaction. Um, and we're gonna have our bride come into the scene from this direction and walk towards him this way. And I'm gonna shoot the whole thing from over here with a wide lens and Daniel's gonna shoot the whole thing from over here with a tight lens so that he'll stay out of my shot. Okay, I'm gonna have you come over here 
And then just look out this way. When she taps your shoulder, just for our sake, can you tap or can you turn over this way? And then if you want to button your top button. Yeah, button up. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll bring Noah out in one second. So you're just gonna go up to Mitchell and then with your right hand, tap him on his right shoulder. And then um, you guys don't have to talk, just kind of like take a moment to like love each other, hug, whatever you guys wanna do. So assuming you have the memory card speed and space, you can go heavy on the amount of photos you're taking during a moment like this. You wanna make sure you get great reactions and those can happen in the blink of an eye. Okay, so we're at the place where we location scouted last night. Um, normally, we would um, bring music, but we don't want to get, uh, what's it called? Copyright claimed. We don't want to get copyright claimed, um, but that's like a good a good thing to do on these, like especially elopement shoots. Start a little farther away and then work our way closer. And then, um, you know, if they're like feeling comfortable, like awkward in front of the camera, we can have them do an action or something like that to get them to loosen up a little bit. And then just, again, a little bit this way, just a little bit. That's perfect. Okay, go ahead and just look at us. Straightforward, perfect. Gorgeous. All right, so um, earlier the light was a little harsh, so now we found some shade where the light will be nice and even. So we're gonna shoot here and see how that goes. Okay, we also brought this reflector so that we can balance or diffuse light. Um, we might try to bounce some light into this scene, but it'll probably come in handy later. So for this first one, yeah, go ahead and snuggle up, actually, I love it. So cute. Okay, so now we move to the other side of where we just were and we have all this golden light coming in. And it looks really good, but it is still a little harsh. So we do have our diffusion screen, which one of us can hold in front of them. And we get some tighter portraits and the light will be really even on their face. So now we're at the location where we're gonna do the fake ceremony. So for most elopements, you'll probably have more of a say as the photographer on where exactly you have them go. And so we're looking for nice, even light on their faces, beautiful backdrop, and room for both of us to get the angles that we want. So I'm gonna up. shoot with a tighter 85 lens and Rachel will shoot with the 24 millimeter. That way we'll have a nice variety of shots. And um, one, one key for ceremonies is we like to frame up our shot, then wait for a nice, emotional, candid moment, and then snap the photo. So good. Charlie. Look at that. Sometimes the sun would shine through you guys. Rachel, like look, look, look. A bird. Did you see it? If we shoot couples portraits earlier in the day, we always ask our couples to do about five minutes of sunset photos during their reception to get some of that beautiful golden light. These usually turn out to be some of their favorite shots of the day and well worth stealing them away for a few minutes. And then just, um, uh, there's like a little gap. Yeah, close it, perfect. What you're doing, just all wrapped up, yeah.
finish the day off with an epic moonshot or whatever. And now stick around to hear about our wedding photography masterclass. We've spent the last three years providing free, valuable educational videos and tools to photographers and filmmakers alike. We've posted those to the point videos every week right here on our YouTube channel, but on the side, we've secretly been working on this labor of love for the last two years. We're stoked to announce the Wedding Photography Business Masterclass. In this course, we're taking a deep dive into every part of running a wedding photography business from scratch. We'll explain exactly how you get started from square one. We'll get you set up with all the materials and info you need. We'll teach you how to price yourself, show you how to book clients who are perfect for you. We'll take you through an entire wedding day and even show you how to package up and deliver the final product. It's truly the whole shebang. Head to the link in the description to find out all about it and be one of the first to get access to our first ever comprehensive course. See you in there. Okay, now you clean it up.